Hello and welcome back to my channel, Brandon Epstein here and on this channel, for the most part, I'm going to be talking about mental fitness training. Now one part of mental fitness training is reprogramming your subconscious mind. Sometimes that can be really hard to do, especially when we're stuck into the same patterns, we've had the same patterns for years and years and years. So one way I personally found and many other people have found to be effective in starting to rewrite those patterns is by introducing psychedelics. Now, I have to say, before I go on in this video, I'm not telling anyone to do any illegal drugs. I'm just going to share my personal experience, and if you learn something from it and you find it valuable and you want to use it in your own life, you're more than welcome to do so. So before I get into the meat and potatoes of the video, I want to remind you I do have my free mental fitness training workbook available. It's linked up in the description below. It's free. Grab it. It's available and it's going to help you control how you feel, how you behave, and what you create in your life. And if you're really looking to get after it and you wanna take your mental fitness to a whole new level, you should also check out my app because the app has guided audio so it'll really help you facilitate this change even faster. That's also linked in the description below. So now let's talk about psychedelics and why anyone would be interested in using them and how someone who's really ambitious or a high performer could utilize a tool like that to perform even better. Because let's give this some context, right? Uh, I'll talk about the US government. I'm not so sure about other governments' uh, view on the use of things like LSD, mushrooms, uh, the Bufo aloe vera toad, ayahuasca, things of that sort. Um, but I know in the US, these are all illegal drugs. They're, the US government has just basically taken these things and put them in the same category as things will actually kill you, like heroin and methamphetamine and cocaine. And Let's just start by saying this. These psychedelics that I'm introducing, they don't kill people, okay? These things are tools. They're tools just like anything else, all right? And so um, I'm not telling you to do them or not to do them, but myself and many other very high-performing people have found them to be very useful tools for creating massive transformative change and personal development in their lives. So I really want to set that context because I know people who don't have any familiarity with them maybe are afraid of them because the government said they're illegal and they're bad. I need you to understand that there's a big difference between methamphetamine and these psychedelics, okay? The harm in the psychedelics could be if you don't have the right integration in place afterwards, it could lead to some emotional trauma and potential post-traumatic stress disorder, but it shouldn't ever even be considered to be anywhere close to these other uh, drugs that actually could kill you because psychedelics aren't going to do that. So I have to say that before I go any further. Now I want to talk about which ones I'm specifically referring to and how you might utilize them. So I'm going to say my experience for the most part stems in uh, psychedelics like LSD, um, mushrooms, the Bufo aloe vera toad and ayahuasca. And I would really, I mean, LSD is man-made, but the others are all plant medicines that come from the earth or naturally occurring things. And so when you take them and you introduce them into your system, uh, I believe that your body knows what to do with them. And they bring you into states of consciousness that help facilitate growth. I will say that it's gonna be very helpful to have a guide there with you if you can and at least someone to spot you who's not under the influence of anything to make sure that you know, you're safe and you're not gonna do anything crazy while you're having this experience because you are gonna be entering into an altered state of consciousness. So why we want to enter an altered state of consciousness outside of this normal 3D reality that we all usually live in? Well, there's a number of reasons. The first reason is these psychedelics taken in high doses can actually facilitate a quantum shift in your energy. So let's say for the most part, you're living in your normal pattern of life. You do the same things, you have the same habits, and maybe you have some bad habits you wanna change. And doesn't matter how hard you try, you just can't quit smoking cigarettes, you can't stop overeating, or you can't stop being a jealous boyfriend or girlfriend. Well, some of these psychedelics taken in really high doses actually force you into a quantum shift in your energy. So you're no longer necessarily just the person you were before, but you're actually shifted. And so with that, all those subconscious programs can shift as well because all those bad habits that we live with all the time are just programs that are running that 
have just been so deeply ingrained that it's hard for us to change them. So if we introduce a high volume of a psychedelic substance, it can force us to shift into another reality where we may lose connection to those old subconscious pathways and those, those old neural pathways, and we get the opportunity to create something new. Now, this is where I think a lot of people miss out on the full uh, potential of these psychedelic drugs or plant medicines, however you want to label them. Many people take them, they have this amazing trip, they have the experience of God and the oneness and it's so beautiful and it's life changing. They're like, oh, there's nothing to worry about. Everything's okay. We're all connected. It's all energy. And you have this aha moment. It's so beautiful and you connect with people maybe you're having this experience with. But then you just go back to your life a couple weeks later and you just end up doing the same things you were doing before. So it's great to have that experience as a reference point just to understand the interconnectedness of it all, right? That's what these plant medicines are mostly for. Uh, a lot of people just take them to realize that we are all interconnected. Everything is energy in the universe. You and I and everything else is God and it all is connected. And so that's why we should treat all the people, the earth, the plants, everything. We should treat everything with compassion and empathy, understanding that we're all connected. Now that's a great reference point to have for the rest of your life and it's a great place to start. But if you're like me and you're really after that personal growth, after having a few experiences like that, I wanted something more. I wanted to shift from just having that reference point to actually being able to create more lasting change and personal growth in my life. And so, in one of my recent experiences um, with the Bufo aloe vera toad followed by a large amount of uh, psychedelic mushrooms that I took, I was actually able to create such a powerful shift that I had a new opportunity to rewrite some of my programs and I did it. And so what I did was this thing called inner planet work. And this is something that was introduced to me by my sensei, Sensei Clay. And since then, I transcribed some of this work and actually brought a lot of that into what I teach now in my mental fitness training. So a lot of the programming that I did personally can be found in the book, that free book that I told you that's linked up in the description below. So what I did was once I got into this different space, I created that quantum shift in my energy where you, I was in a vulnerable space and anyone would be after an event like that where I could actually change the way I viewed the world from the past and I could create a new reality for my future, I chose to go in and do the work. I chose to go in and actually decide, okay, what are all of my current subconscious limiting beliefs that have been holding me back for so long and actually identifying them one by one and changing them. And so personally, I went through this really transformative experience while I did this and you know, one belief that I used to hold was that I believed that I was worthless, which I feel almost, you know, at the time I felt embarrassed to admit to anyone because I was like, man, like I thought I was a pretty evolved guy. Why did I have a belief that I'm worthless? Um, but once I was able to go back and identify that and bring it to the surface, which these psychedelics help you do is actually identify the things that are just below the surface, they're constantly sabotaging you. You're able to bring those up and when you do, you can change them. So I was able to change my one of my core beliefs from I'm worthless to I'm loving. And I tell you, I'm having a much better life and experience of life being loving instead of worthless. And so that's like a big obvious one that you'd want to change, but there's so many more as you go down the rabbit hole. And what you can do is utilize that book that I linked up in the description below and you can go through this process of one by one seeing all the limiting beliefs that have been holding you back in your life and then choosing new ones and usually what you can do is just identify the subconscious negative belief and then right underneath it write it write it out be like this is my old belief I'm exposing it I'm saying it's what it is and then underneath it you can write out your new belief and you basically choose a new one and usually you just want it to be more or less the opposite of the old one that was causing you harm and causing you to sabotage yourself. Now, this is not for everyone, right? What I'm asking you to do is something that takes a lot of courage, takes a lot of ambition, and that's why this video here, specifically for people who are really going down the personal growth rabbit hole. This isn't for someone who just wants to read inspirational quotes 
and or watch motivational videos and feel good for a little bit. And that's why I oftentimes advertise a lot of the stuff that I talk about is stuff that's meant for the people in the 1%. The 1% of people who are really willing to get full awareness over their strengths and weaknesses and have the audacity to actually go in there and change their subconscious negative sabotaging beliefs and turn them into empowering beliefs that are going to help propel them forward in their life because they don't want to be stuck in that same place. But it does take a lot of courage because through this process, you have to actually acknowledge and identify all of these negative beliefs you've been living with. And a lot of people don't want to face those demons and want to realize the reality that they have been living in. But it's really hard to shift into a new reality until you have identified the one that you've been living in. So this is something that is, again, not for everyone, but for the people out there who are really interested in personal growth, who really want lasting change, who have probably maybe even experienced psychedelics before, and were like, I have this great reference point, it's such a beautiful experience, but where do I go from here? How do I make it stick? So the same feelings I had on this psychedelic experience can last and it can be something that I can utilize for the rest of my life. And so to you specifically, I'm sharing that with my experience, it was absolutely transformative to use that quantum shift in my energy field as an opportunity to identify all those negative patterns that were living there and then rewriting new ones. And really this is an act of awakening because if you go through my full training, you'll realize that the first step is just becoming aware of what you haven't been aware of. So unconscious incompetence shifting to conscious incompetence. So you didn't even know what you didn't know. And through this experience with the psychedelics, you get to know that you didn't know. And once you know that you don't know, you can take the next step and go from conscious incompetence to conscious competence by starting to becoming aware of all these negative patterns that exist in the past. And then you get to start rewriting them. And that's really what I believe is so, so powerful about these plant medicines is that they put you in this malleable state where your mind and your brain is willing to review and re-look at and re-examine the way you've been operating in your life thus far and give you an opportunity to choose a new path going forward. So this is something that I think can be really helpful for any high performer, entrepreneurs, artists, athletes, anyone who feels like they've been stuck and they're looking for a shift and they wanna move forward. It's also for someone definitely who has experience with psychedelics who says, I get these great reference points, but where can I go from here? I say where you go from here is you can start to actually take the opportunity of being in that sensitive, vulnerable state of feeling like you're not fully grounded and it's okay not to be grounded because while you're not grounded, you can rewrite these beliefs and then ground yourself and anchor yourselves in these, okay? So there's so much I can say about this topic, but I just wanted to start off in this video by sharing my experience. I saw that many of you watched my video on the Bufo Toad and you found that helpful. So I wanted to go a little bit farther down the rabbit hole and say, well, what do you do after something like the Bufo Toad? Well, you can utilize these tools that I'm making available to you to rewrite your subconscious programs to live in a new reality going forward. So I hope that video, I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope it was valuable. And if it was, please let me know. Drop me a uh, comment down below. Also, uh, you guys, I've got uh, my text messages. Uh, I got my phone number linked up in the description below. So you can send me a text message if you want to talk to me personally about any of this stuff. I'm here to serve you as you need me. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And be the thing.